Hi, I'm Eric Weiner, and welcome to part three, episode one of what I did on my pandemic vacation night. What I wanted, vacation, where's the drama mean? Not only did Trump pay just $750 in taxes, he had Michael Cohn cut a check for it out of his kid's bar mitzvah fund. Sure, but who paid for all those delicious little kosher dogs in little kosher blankets? Or was it from Cohn's playmate porn star slush fund? Come on, who hasn't paid $750 for two peeing Russian hookers in singles? In singles of rubles, $750 in taxes. Trump spent $750 at KFC a week. And that's just for gravy. And how do you lose $915 million a year anyway? Oh, right. You employed Don Jr. and Eric. Speaking of Eric, when Eric Trump heard that his dad and their company had tax issues... He called John, Don Jr. to see if they could use pushpins. Eric's just now realizing that maybe his dad didn't need a quick $750 in cash to go down to Tony's for a slice of pizza and a Coke. Yeah, Eric Trump is so dumb, he thinks Cambridge Analytica is something Lindsey Graham asks escorts for in Boston. A new ethics report says that Trump has 3,400 conflicts of interest, which is almost as much as I have with my in-laws. Are they sure that the 3,400 wasn't just Trump's caloric intake by noon? Or the number of hair strands he gets individually processed in the two-hour two hour construction of his comb-over by the Army Corps of Engineers? 3,400 conflicts of interest. Sounds like the synopsis of Trump's colonoscopy. They told me if I came to Justice Ginsburg's line in state showing, there'd be lots of those yummy shiva trays. You know, the ones with nuts and chocolate and coffee cake. Lots of coffee cake. Who doesn't like shiva tray coffee cake? I like shiva tray coffee cake. Not to mention bagels and deli platters. Hey, who's a guy got of here? Who's a guy... <laughs> Who is a guy got to infect around here with a novel coronavirus to get some cream cheese and lox? Dibs on leftovers! Speaking of leftovers, know what food tastes best as leftovers? Leftovers. And speaking of leftover leftovers, has anybody checked the expiration date on Rudy Giuliani? Dude's human green fuzz on stuff that's not supposed to be blue. Or smell like Lindsey Graham's feet after a day in high heels. Maybe Trump was booed as at Ruth Bader Ginsburg lying in state because he lies in every state. City, county, village, condo complex, country club, and poor movie set he steps into. Cut! Hey, curiously orange guy, unless you're the fluffer or the fluffy, how's about you get your fat ass off the set, okay? All right, where were we? Actually, where weren't we? Action! Conan O'Brien tweeted, Wonder why we only ate paste when we were kids. Don't ask me. I've had a 64-pack-a-day Crayola habit since 1973. Ooh, I hear they just came out with pumpkin spice burnt umber. Mm. A police raid in Vietnam found 300,000 used condoms being packed for resale. A spokesperson for the company said they're not comfortable with the term used condoms. They prefer previously boned. Mitch McConnell said, If warranted, there will be an orderly transition of power in January, just as there's been every four years since 1792. Elections? I'm talking about the transition between my chins. Cuckoo cuckoo. Similarly, Mitt Romney said, unthinkable and unacceptable for a president not to commit to peaceful transition of power. Unthinkable and unacceptable, a.k.a. Don Jr. and Eric. And unthinkable, oh, I think he thought about it, Willard. And when he did, he was totally acceptable with telling everyone, tough titty with tanks, bitches. 
Who's going to stop me? Peaceful transition of power. Trump doesn't believe in the peaceful transition of passing the fucking mashed potatoes or gas. Trump recently heard Prince Harry and Meghan Markle endorsed Joe Biden, telling the press, never liked her, but I wish a lot of luck to Harry. He's going to need it. Trump, I think, confused them with Harry Markle, the plumbing contact contractor, the plumbing contractor from Teaneck. Harry Markle, you know Harry. Harry Markle, the plumbing contractor from Teaneck, who used to be in Trump's golf foursome, and that he used to cheat in gin rummy, mocking him with the playful nickname, Little Jaime Heat Harry.